Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Sherry Trimble, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. What do you think would make a great Pennsylvania electric locomotive? How about the DD-1 built in 1910? It was the first electric locomotive used by the Pennsylvania Railroad or the PRR used in the tunnels of New York City, or the PRR F1 built in 1917 to push freight cars up the hill in Paoli. Unfortunately, it was so powerful, it knocked many of the cars off the track. How about the PRR B1? It was an electric switcher used in rail yards to move cars. They nicknamed it the rat because it looked like rats running around the yard. That's a funny name. On December 18, 1987, the Pennsylvania General Assembly chose the Pennsylvania Railroad GG14859. Why switch to electric from coal-burning steam locomotives? Large cities needed a faster, more efficient, cleaner, and safer alternative. The first electric locomotives used the third rail to deliver direct current power. Direct current works well in a small area, but alternating current was a better choice to cover miles of rail. Alternating current would be delivered through overhead cantonary wires. The PRR installed the first set of wires from Philadelphia to Paoli in 1915. In 1928, the PRR announced plans to electrify lines between Harrisburg, New York, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. By 1938, the wires for the Northeast and Keystone corridors were complete. The PRR needed a new electric locomotive to replace their steam-powered K4S. In 1931, they tested the P5. It did not meet expectations. It was too slow, being limited to only 70 miles per hour. The PRR decided to test two new models, the Baldwin and Westinghouse R1 and the Baldwin and General Electric GG1. Over 10 weeks, these engines tested at speeds over 100 miles per hour. The GG1 had less wear on the track, the motors were easy to maintain, and it could handle curves better. On October 30th, 1934, the PRR chose the GG1. On January 28th, 1935, the GG1 took its inaugural run from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia at top speeds of 102 miles per hour. From 1934 to 1943, the PRR rostered 139 GG1s. The earliest frames were built by Baldwin Locomotive Works in Eddystown, PA, and the electrical components came from the General Electric in Erie, PA. The final 81 models were built at the Altoona Works between 1937 and 1943. The GG1 was efficient and versatile, and many would serve for over 40 years. Over its career, the GG1 was considered the most successful and iconic electric locomotive in the world. One of the reasons for its success was the wheel arrangement, called a 2C C2. The two frames were connected by a joint. Each frame was 40 feet long, with two pilot axles and three powered axles. It created a smooth and fast ride at high speeds and could go either direction without needing to go in reverse. The pantograph collected 11,000 volts of electric current from the overhead lines and converted it in the engine to power the axles. The control cab for the engineer was near the center. It provided for a safe ride, but it had limited visibility. Originally, the GG1 served as a passenger locomotive traveling the Northeast and Keystone corridors as well as the commuter rails. The new electric locomotives traveled from New York City to Washington, D.C. in 3 hours and 25 minutes versus 5 hours on a steam hauled locomotive. By 1960, as passenger travel declined, many GG1s were reassigned to freight, eventually being phased out by 1980. The legislation for the Pennsylvania State Electric Locomotive is written specifically for the 4859 model. On January 15, 1938, the 4859 made its inaugural run from Philadelphia to Harrisburg. In 1964, the 4859 was reassigned to freight, running from Edgemore, Delaware to Enola, PA making its last run on November 22, 1979. The 4859 arrived at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania in 1983 and through extensive restoration returned to its 1938 appearance. On November 15, 1986, the Harrisburg chapter of the National Railroad Historical Society took ownership and moved the 4859 to its current location 
at the Harrisburg Transportation Center. In 2004, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The GG1 is a Pennsylvania innovation that revolutionized the railroad industry. The GG1 was instrumental in moving passengers and freight efficiently and quickly throughout Pennsylvania and the Northeast. To learn more, visit our webpage. I hope you enjoy learning about Pennsylvania's state electric locomotive, the Pennsylvania Railroad GG1-4859.